They should be worth a fortune. You idiot. He said furs, not furs. It was a damn logging caravan. Anyway. Something troubling you? I'll listen. First things first, I managed to recover an eye of the farmer. Just for you. Well, well. I was looking for this little beauty. If you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets like this, be sure to bring them to me. I promise it'll be worth the effort. By the eight, you actually got your hands on it. This alone is worth more than some thieves earn in a lifetime. So it'll be nice and safe here then, I suppose. I've also completed the numbers job. I can pat you on the back all day, but coin's coin, right? Aye. Ah, what else have you got for me? Well, it appears your actions are starting to make waves out there. People are talking about the guild again. In fact, I just got a special job requested. Get over there and see what you can do. This is just the best possible weather, isn't it? Aye. I suppose we should be grateful it's not ash storming out. Hmm. I would much rather get rain in my scales than ash, given how sticky and awful and irritating it is. Aye, right, and it gets everywhere. What? Oh, that's the, uh... Those are the pirates that you were talking about. Aye. Right. I think... I think maybe we'll deal with that in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Your hands are bothering you, aren't they? Was it that obvious? Uh, well... Maybe a little. Something about the barely contained grimace of pain. I Excuse work me. for Mogul. You got a problem, you talk to him. Stay out of your way, then. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. Think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Hey there, Gildas. Been a while. Welcome to the Wretching Netch Corner Club, home of the finest Sue Jammer that will ever grace your lips. It's pretty good. So what's the word around town? If you've got gold on your hands, you might talk to Rallis of a call beyond Barrow. I've heard he wants to excavate the place. He's been going on about that for years. Anyway, we're actually here for a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room, right this way. And to think, this whole misadventure started in this very room. Aye. Oh, you don't sound especially pleased about this. Eh, well... Those it could be worse. Ha! <laughs> Let me know if there's anything else you need. I will do kill this. For now, I think we just hunker down for the night. Why don't you take the first snooze and uh, I'll take a watch later, I suppose. Works for me. 
It's good to be off that damn boat. <laughs> Very much so. I grow ever nearer to you. Well, that's a problem. Cactus? Trailer, I have a message for you. Tell my father if he wants to speak to me. He should do it in person. It's not from your father. It's from Captain Delith. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, Geldis. Please, tell me, what did he say? He said he'll meet you where you met for the first time. He said you'd know what it means. I do. Excuse me. I work I'll give you this world. warning only you once. Stay out of my head. way, and we'll do just fine. Right. Mm -hmm. I will stay out of your way, then. That is not good. Where could he have gone? Well, it's not out here. As far as I know. Damn it, Cactus. Well, that'll be the pirates. Here in his shrine. That they have forgotten. Gonna leave them to that right north of So probably Here around this way. Toil. And there's more of those weird things. Right. Oh. Is about what the crap happened here? Oh, right. Gods. Is there anyone you didn't torch? Who are you, anyway? What are you gawking at? Oh, well... I was looking for the sea tiger. I don't exactly know what I found. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, right, what are you doing here? Look, I'm here to do a job, and that's it. You stick to your business, and we'll both be fine. It... I mean... You've got a point. But I've got an emma. So, uh, why don't you just tell me what's going on, eh? That's not going to happen. Alright, you had your chance. Whatever you say. Looks like I have a good bit of work to start on. Just keep it quiet. You, pirate, no! Oh. <laughs> Aye? And what are you supposed to be, a charred mud crab? Funny woman. 
Where's Cactus? Do I know you? I doubt you'd have reason to. But believe me, I remember you lot, and I've got the scars to prove it. My lot. Don't play the fool with me. You're with the Sea Tiger. Oh, now that's where you're wrong, mate. Excuse me. I was actually supposed to be looking for the Sea Tiger myself. Looks like this kite and clad friend of yours took care of most of it before I got here. At least, I assume he's your friend. Something about the... Uh, shared aesthetic, maybe? You're not with them. Aye. At Le Grey Osgosh, Captain of the Scarlet at your service. What are the odds, eh? What is a pirate doing investigating other pirates? Territorial dispute. Yeah, something like that. They're causing problems for the East Empire Company, which means they're causing problems for me. You, on the other hand, sound like you've got something personal with them. The Scar's comment gave it away, did it? Aye. I might have some stories to tell. But I'm also fairly certain they kidnapped Cactus. Right, who's Cactus? Cactus Andretti. Agonian. Delvani. You don't say. A Telvani Agonian. That's something you don't hear about every day. Aye. He's also the most vain lizard I've ever met. <laughs> Friend of yours, I assume? Unfortunately. <laughs> well, we best get to finding him. We? Aye. What? You afraid I'm planning on stabbing you in the back or something? I'm just here to make me contractor happy. You're the one with the stakes here. If you'd have told me yesterday that I'd be teaming up with a pirate to track down Cactus, I'd have told you you'd have lost your mind. So you're in then? I'd best be. Gods know I couldn't take these betches on my own. Oh, you're in luck. I happen to specialise in the smashing of fetcher heads. What would you say your name was? I didn't. Sol von der Verein, former Redoran guard at your service. Oh, shit. Former. Alright, let's get out of this mess before the not-so-former Redoran guard come by, eh? Modin will understand. Where we headed? Right, let's see what we've got here. Nothing. Not much. Aye. What do you figure? The one bandit he didn't torch. You know who he is? I know he's. You said, well, you implied that he's not exactly a friend of yours, but. His name's Teldred Cero. And that's all I know about him. What if Blood Skull Barrow until further orders? I will try and infiltrate the city until the other group makes their move. Romado. Great. We've got to bring this to Captain Villith. Ah, uh, what? Excuse me, Solvondo, I'm a pirate. I don't think he's going to deal with me. But he might deal with you. I... I'm assuming he will. Right, anyway. So... Mr. Cero. Uh, what was it you needed again? Found this. Well, that's a start. Bring this information to Captain Belleth, and I'll keep the rest of these Enwars from running off. You mean... Oh, I assume he means whoever's up at that barrel there. Or potentially whoever is out on that boat. Uh, one of the two. Potentially both. I'm glad the ash cleared out. The ash? Oh, I ran out. We had a bit of a breeze when I came out of the inn. I must have just missed you. Right, what did you say this Captain Velith was again? Well, he was at the inn when I left. He's probably out doing his rounds now. Ah, 
That explains how they got cactus that too. We might remember. I. Well, if they're in this city, probably would have seen me come by. Although I'm not sure how they managed to get past him and his magic. Oh, who knows? Pirates are sneaky like that. Well, most pirates are sneaky like that. I'm not exactly most pirates. I suppose privateer would be the uh, more savoury title, wouldn't it? What's the difference? A uh, privateer is somebody that's paid by someone, you know, not sketchy. Right, we'll see if he's in here, shall we? Come on in. Let me know if you need anything. Or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. Oh, they got a new cook. Right. Interesting place you got here. Oh, well, he's gone. And Cactus isn't back. Right. Here we go. Tracking down the captain of the guard. Right? Aye. So I have a question. Aye. What is this? That's a niche. And there's Captain Veleth. Oh, right. Hello, sir. Modin Veleth. Captain of the Redoran Guard at your service. So, about the Sea Tiger? Finally. I could use a pair of extra hands. Have you found something? Well, that's nice. Uh, well, we found a bunch of uh, dead guys. And this note. Good. Councillor Morvane was offering quite a bounty for assistance with this matter. Have you got any leads? I'd search one of the abandoned houses on the outskirts of town. I just don't have time to do it myself right now. Have a look around and see if you can turn up anything useful. Right. We'll be back. Thanks. We'll be back. What's this about? An extra pair of hands? Well... That's the reason I'm not a Ritter and Guard anymore. I'll tell you later. We have things to do. Aye. That's a pretty spry. They're also a bit of a mess. Aye, I... I see. As the wife to the second counselor of Raven Rock, it would be my pleasure to help you any way that I can. That's uh, not an abandoned house. Right, just point me at them when you find them. I suppose that one's not abandoned either. Uh, what about this one? That's part of the temple. Right. No oh, way. <laughs> Guess I can now say I've seen a shrine of Azura. But we haven't seen the shrine of Azura. Uh, no, actually. Smith. I'll be Glover Mallory. Excuse me. You haven't seen Crescius Corellius, have you? That foolish old man's taken my pickaxe again. I don't know if I can do this anymore, Modin. Is it because of your father? Uh, what's all the mean? fuss over a, s a pickaxe? No, no, no. This you isn't just your run-of-the-mill pickaxe. I'm talking about an ancient Nordic pickaxe. Shoot. They don't exactly Back grow on home. trees, you know. Always respect your decision. Can't you just get the guard to find Crisius? 
Um, I prefer to handle these things on my own. Look, if you see Crescius, tell him to give me that pickaxe back, and I'll pay you for the trouble. Oh. So, uh... I've noticed a few things. Just, uh, just saying. You know. The, uh... The name, for example, among other things. Well, well, it's been a long time since someone from the guilds bothered to make their way out here. So tell me, how's my brother Delvin? Still spending his nights at the Ragged Flagon trying to win Vex's heart? Eh. Aye, <laughs> uh, he's still Delvin. Good to hear. Tam Layabout never even bothers to send his own flesh and blood a letter saying how he's doing. Can you imagine? Anyway, I suppose you're looking for work. Well, I got bad news. This place is drier than a damn bone. Not at all. Eager to make some coin, eh? That's the spirit. I'll tell you what. The guild's got a problem out here that I've been trying to deal with for years, but haven't been able to handle. Uh... The, uh, the guild has a problem out here? Don't look at me like that. I'm all alone out here with no one to watch my back. And besides, it's really my problem anyway. I caused it. Right, what did you do? A fellow Breton who went by the name Esmond Tyne showed up at my doorstep about a fortnight ago. He noticed the shadow marks like you did, and I thought he was one of us. Let me guess. He stole something from you, didn't he? That he did. Right out from under my nose. Can you believe it? It's my own formula for improved bone mold. Took me years to perfect. Where's Esmond Tyne now? Well, before he ran off, he was talking some nonsense about trying to fence goods to the Reeklings at Castle Karstag. I told him he was crazy to even think about talking to those vicious little buggers. But he wouldn't listen. I'd bet a fat purse of coin that he's either dead or hiding out up there. You're right. Well, I'll see what I can do. You do that, and I'll make sure you're set up right. You won't be disappointed. Alright, well, I'll see you around, Mr. Mallory. The other Mr. Mallory. You tell Crushes he better give that pickaxe back to me, or else. Oh, aye. Right. Well, well. I don't look at me like that. You're the one who ran up calling me a pirate without actually knowing whether or not I was one. You answered to it, didn't you? You know, fair enough. So you're a pirate. And your contractor is the Thieves Guild. Ah, oh, you never said that part. You didn't need to. Glover has always been just a bit shifty. He and his brother come by that honestly, I think. Things not to talk about while your uh your former boss is walking down the street. Aye. So, that building that you were standing in front of is in fact abandoned. Ah, oh, well, that would do it. Also, so which is it? Are you a pirate or are you a thief? Can I not be both? I suppose that's fair enough. And yet you're helping me. Aye. Well, see, the thing is, uh, if we just... Uh, a little bit out of the way. Whose house is this? That'll be the Severin Manor. Gotcha. Anyway, so it's like this, aye? I am a pirate, first and foremost, and, uh, most of my 
Plunder, if you will, comes from the East Empire Company. I'm following so far. So... We're standing in her yard. Uh, right. So basically... I'm, uh... Keeping my own supply protected. You understand? Sort of a... Sustainability thing. If you say so. Right, let's focus. Let's see if Ramado is in here. 